Hello, YouTube. I'm going to uh, read uh, my favorite psalm today, and then I'm going to talk about uh, a few quick things. Uh, this psalm is a is a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful psalm. Um, David is the author of this psalm, and it is Psalm 103, Thanksgiving to the Lord, and it starts out as, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Blessed is His holy name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your disease, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, good things, so that your mouth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord excuse, executes, excuse me, the Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as... He removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them who fear him. And that's something we don't have today, is fear of the Lord. As you can see, from California to Maryland, and everywhere in between, no fear. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are are as grass as a flower of the field so he flourishes for the wind passes over it and it is gone and the place thereof shall know it no more but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them who fear him and his righteousness unto children's children to such as keep his covenant, and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless you, the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure, Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Psalm 103, written by David. Excellent, excellent psalm. Love this psalm. It's my personal, personal favorite. Um, what can you say about it? it? It explains the Lord in wonderful, wonderful, beautiful detail. Um how he loves us, how he's slow to anger, uh, you know, how he gives you chance after chance after chance. It, it's such a, 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 just within 22 verses, from verse 1 to 22, it's the Lord. I mean, it really explains the Lord in great detail. I love this verse. I mean, I, I just love this, this psalm. Um, that's for today. Um, I want to speak on something that uh, I've noticed. Uh, I've been getting a lot of hate comments, which I've deleted immediately, and I'm going to continue to do so. Uh, I don't mean to smile, and I don't mean to act like, you know, it's funny, but I find it, um, What's the word I want to use? Satisfying in a way because I know I'm doing my job. Because when someone preaches or teaches or reads the Bible, 
you're always going to have hatred coming back at you. You're going to have the devil and his minions attacking you. And that's exactly what happens in my comments. You'll see underneath a lot of my videos, you'll see comments, but they're not there. Because I've deleted them. It's got nothing to do with me deleting someone that may disagree with something I say. I have more would love to debate anyone, you know, on the belief that they don't believe in God or whatever. That's fine, but every one of the comments I delete are just hate-filled, profanity-laden rants that I'm this and I'm that and, and this and that. And that just shows me that they don't know nothing about the Bible. They don't, they're not a Christian. They're not uh, godly. They do not bear uh, good fruit. They bear evil fruit. And it's nothing more as the way I look at it as the devil is attacking me through them, through their comments. So, I, it, it, you know, I like, I like to think I'm doing my job. Um, everybody likes to have somebody say, oh, you did a good job or I enjoyed that. Everybody likes that. But you get more satisfaction, especially as a Christian, when you're telling the truth and someone cannot stand it. Someone absolutely attacks you for everything you believe in attacks this word I mean vehemently attacks this word and attacks you I take that as I'm doing my job that I am rowing up the devil and his minions and I stopped in the middle of this psalm where uh, I stopped where it had talked about uh, fear um, and there is no fear of God today, not in this country. If there was, people would not be doing what they are doing. Uh, you have blatant devil worshiping on television, and this is one I get a lot of negative comments about, especially when I talk about uh, Hollywood and the music industry. Um, I've gotten a lot of negative uh, a lot of negative dislikes, a lot of uh, bad feedback, bad comments, uh, because they love their celebrities. They want to cling to the world. They want to cling to that worldly influence, that demonic worldly influence, that sin, that sinful nature that, that those people project. Uh, you have this thing in Hollywood now uh, where it's just, it's like Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, it, it's just a free-for-all. Um, sodomy is just rampant, I mean, everywhere. It's not just Hollywood, it's everywhere. Um, it's sad. It's truly, truly sad uh, that a nation that was built on God has completely turned their back and completely shut Him out, thinking that they do not need Him, uh, do not want Him, and you know, the sad part about it is God is going to take his hand off this nation. I don't know if he's already done it, but if he hasn't, I believe it's going to happen because of the things that we're seeing today. The outright hedonism, the outright just uh, the acceptance of the most vile, sickest things you would a human being could ever fathom in their mind, the most vile, sickest, disgusting acts are being normalized as it's normal. You know, you see this daily, every day. Now, we are having pedophiles being normalized. We're seeing now that the left, the hardcore left in this country is now preaching I hate to use that word, but that's what they're doing, that they are born that way. I have seen them marching with banners where it says this, 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 and uh, pedophiles, you know, needs acceptance. You lay a hand on a child in that manner, you are a sick, demented, demonic individual. It's that simple. If I get a strike for this, well, then we know where that lays, don't we? We know where this lays. If I end up getting a strike for saying something about a, uh, 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 an adult human being laying their hands on a child for sexual gratification, if I get a strike for saying that, then we know where this country's going. We know it. 
And just like Christ said, in the end of days, it would be as it was in the day of Noah. Now, we all know that know the Bible, that read the Bible, how it was in the day of Noah. Um, we know how wicked and how uh, just flat out disgusting and perverse the world had become. And it had become so bad um, that the Lord completely wiped it out with the flood to try to start again. That's how bad. Now, remember, God did say He would never do that again. Uh, but the world is on that path of destruction. And the only, the only way is this. And if you want to curse me and you want to call me a, a freak or, or make fun of me or this, then that just means I'm doing right because I'm plucking a nerve in you, a demonic nerve in you with, with the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. So that's what that means. So that's that. Have a wonderful afternoon, wonderful evening, or wonderful morning, wherever you're at on this great planet of ours. I thank you for listening. God bless, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.